Well, for more on this, Dr. Bharat Pankhania joins us now from Bath in the UK. He's a senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School. Good to have you back with us, uh, Doctor. For some people, uh, the worst of the COVID-19 pa pandemic may be just a distant memory at this point, even though it really wasn't that long ago. And medical experts uh, like yourself say the next pandemic is simply a matter of when not if. Do you think the World Health Organization at this assembly will reach some sort of a consensus on how to tackle a future pandemic? I hope so. It is in the interest of all the nations of the globe to do so. Uh, just have a look at what happened in Africa when the European nations and the United States um, cornered the supply of the vaccines. And similarly, also look at how um, China behaved with not telling us about the genome sequences, et cetera, for soon enough. Look at how Brazil performed in its uh, pandemic management and indeed how the United States managed its pandemic. So for all those reasons that I have said, Africa, Brazil, United States, Peking, China, we should have an international treaty because it is in the interest of all people on planet Earth. Doctor, what would you say would be the most important aspect in terms of pandemic preparedness that countries need to agree on at this assembly? Well, it's just a simple thing of we will cooperate and we will help each other. We will have the resources to look after all nations equally. So as we know that in the uh, SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, the, the nations started to look after themselves and no nation is an entity on itself. And one of the things that the WHO uh, pandemic treaty should address, will address, and I hope it will, is we're all in it together and we're all going to work together to solve it, with whatever that pandemic may be in the future. Yes, and with the COVID-19 pandemic, we did see the development of uh, several vaccines in what many people considered a, a short amount of time. But as you pointed out earlier, it was unfortunate that some countries saw fit to either hoard those vaccines and indeed the companies producing these vaccines weren't equally distributing them to countries who needed them most and who could least afford them. Do you think that this assembly will tackle that issue during the summit? I hope they will, but I am not hopeful because the pharmaceutical companies are an entity on themselves. And it's very difficult to say you will behave, you will work in the interest of uh, all, all people on planet Earth. But what we can do is with regard to funding research, write those contracts precisely, which is we fund you, if you are successful with your vaccines or medicines, you will allocate those vaccines, medicines equally across the globe rather than give it to the first highest bidder, as happened with the mRNA vaccines. Europe and the United States collared the market. OK, uh, we'll keep a close eye on the WHO Assembly. Dr. Bharat Pankania, thank you as always for joining us.